Dallas, Texas. Five forty-five, guys. Five forty-six, and I had to come all the way from the west side of Fort Worth, going all the way to the east side of Dallas. I've been on the road for almost two hours. Traffic is absolutely horrendous. But uh, I'm on my way to a walk-in cooler at a at a location I've never been before. It has a big beaver in the front. I won't say the name, but you know what's up. So I'm on my way over there. Some walk-in coolers down. We'll see if we can get some footage. I'm not exactly sure how it works in there. I've never been to one of them stores. So we'll see you there, guys. But... Dallas traffic is horrible. I left at four o'clock. It's almost six and I'm just getting here to the middle of Dallas. I still gotta go all the way to Terrell, which is, uh, I don't know, another 30, 30 minutes east of here. So yeah. All right, so we're here. This is the problem. All right, so this is system one. System one's running good. This is system two. I'm not sure what coma means, but so this is one that's partially iced up. This is system one also, which is one, two, one, two. See, this is in refrigeration mode. This one's running good. And this is system two. Fans are not running. It's got ice all over the bottom. Got ice all over the back. I can hear the refrigeration running. And you can see all that ice build up right inside. This coil is completely frozen. So this sucks big time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see why these fans are not running. So I'm gonna take my electrical and once I figure this out, I'm gonna put it into a defrost, possibly shut it off and de-ice the entire coil. So step one, I wanna see why these fans aren't running. First thing I'm gonna check is to see if we have any power here. Sorry, right there. No power. Um, so, we absolutely have zero power right here. Let's go to the, uh, I never use this, but let's find out the amount of contact. So the amount of contact voltage is, not really picking anything up. Um, so let's go back to volts AC and let me just check from ground. Just from ground to anything, nothing. To the other one, nothing. To this one, nothing. So, I ain't got no power anywhere. Let me go check that other side where the K2 controller is, see what we find. Nothing, all the power comes in through that side. So, now we need to see why we don't have any power on this side. I am gonna check behind this K2 controller. There's a couple of relays back there. Just gonna give it a quick, uh, quick visual. Everything's looking good. Hi guys, so this is the other evaporator, number two. And uh, I'm gonna get a voltage reading in here. So just coming in from the main wires right here. At 120 volts. Now that's being fed right from here, which goes to this box. And then that box 
goes all the way down to one of those switches down there now that switch is on so I imagine we have a problem in here or way further down the line so we're gonna open this up real quick are still not running so I'm gonna have a problem from here down to the box down to the uh, down to the evaporator so wonder if this turns into an uh, electrician's job now but uh, I just don't want to cross any lines with this customer so I'm gonna get clarification on that and uh, We'll see, but you know what? It'd be nice if I could see if this thing has any power going to it. Uh, you know what? Maybe my wire at the switch. Let me go check that switch. All right, guys. So this might be our issue right here. Got a bunch of water in there. Still gonna have to pull this uh, switch out. Does not look healthy in there, not at all. So I'm pretty reluctant to do this. I don't want to cause a spark or short or something. I'm thinking this is where my issue is. I'm gonna need a new switch, but uh, let me use both hands, guys. Let me try to get in there better. I believe this is where we're gonna have a problem. Really corroded back there on the ground. Um, all that's pretty corroded. Um, that's where the black wire is, so now we gotta check voltage across these two. All right, I'm gonna try to prop you guys up there. ground this one somewhere ground anywhere there we go Let's see if I can touch this blue one all right so this side of the blue has 115 this side of the blue has 115 black all right black has no power on this side and no power on this side either oh wait there it is hold on it's got 40 volts. Holy moly, look, I'm touching this. And I'm touching it here. I have 90 volts. <laughs> Let's see how hard I gotta touch this one. See, that one I don't have to touch too hard, 120. This one I'm not getting anything. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, so I'm gonna have to go find the breaker for this. It's like I got 30 volts. 50 volts here. Could be a bad contact, but I'm still gonna have to find the breaker, so let's go find the breaker. All right, guys, so found a trip breaker here, number 49. 49 display cooler coil fans. It's probably our guy right here. Um, I did shut the switch off over at the coils, so I believe I'll be safe to shut this off and then shut it on. I mean, turn it back on. So number 49. So let's go ahead and uh, and go check on the on the power now. All right, guys, we're back. And let's prop that up for you. So now our black wire. Has 120 volts. 
now I'm not gonna just flip this switch. Something made that breaker trip. So now we need to know what made that breaker trip. So now we gotta go back to that other condensing unit. Um, I'm sorry, to that other evaporator and find out why it tripped. So let me go ahead and shut this off. I already found the root problem. Uh, let me put this all back together and uh, we'll continue our diagnosis. All right, guys. Um, so I had to make a phone call because this store is very, uh, very strict on their, on their cost. And I had to call one of the main guys and tell him that I was gonna have to disassemble that evaporator, de-ice it, find the short, which we more than likely know it's gonna be in a fan. Um, I told him I could stay tonight. Um, it's already probably eight o'clock and or um, I could come back first thing in the morning just depends on how much they want to spend they both agreed for me to be back in the morning and that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna button this back up um, I'm gonna go shut off that condensing unit and uh, we're just gonna leave them with uh, two fans or two evaporators and uh, we'll be back first thing Jen so see you tomorrow I just went up to the condensing unit and shut it off for tonight so we'll be back tomorrow to uh, de-ice this thing it's not gonna be fun but anyways um, since I'm on call I don't know if I'll be the one to do this or not and like always if I do not get to do it this will be the end of the video thank you all for watching um, if I do get to come back and do it I'll see you tomorrow a lot guys like and subscribe if you like the content i really appreciate every single one of you guys thank you